Hello everybody out there, this is Garrett, you're watching 11 Bang Bang. Today we're up here in Wyoming, actually almost on the Oregon Trail. The Oregon Trail is about 50 yards that way. But uh, we are up here shooting some guns with Duke Frazier Productions and he has been gracious enough to lend me one that I didn't have to review for you here on the channel. Now what we're dealing with here today is the Cimarron imported Uberti 1873 single action. This is what they call their Model P because we are dealing with a black powder frame, you know, early production, pre-war, whatever you want to call it, uh, first first generation. Uh, it's got the screw here to hold the cylinder base pin in. Uh, it has the bullseye ejector rod and it has the, the narrower sights that you see on a lot of these older guns. We're here at about 20 yards. And once again, I think those were the plowboy loads. All right, aim so right at it. We are shooting black powder loads. These are plowboy loads. They are 40 grains of 3F Go-X with a 255 grain bullet on top of it. Oh yeah. I did not even have to hold low. I just held right on. He's got this pretty well. There's a little high on that one. There was a, there was a smokeless. We've had our rounds a little mixed today, so. There's a black powder load. And click. All right, so I've been shooting the uh, Summer on Thunderer, so once you've been shooting that for a while, you forget how easy it is with that longer ejector rod to just pop those rounds right out of there into the palm of your hand. We're ready to load again. Let me get up close here. If you look at this gun you'll see that it has i believe he's been using this gun for quite a few years and the uh the bluing has held up really well color case hardening is beautiful on this i believe he has stripped the uberti red spaghetti red grips down and it's really just a really nice gun i'm really enjoying it i do like that longer barrel uh, let's load it up and shoot some more all right so we have no idea what these rounds are they could be smokeless they could be plowboy loads i tell you what those plowboy loads are really moving on and that is actually a historic load i believe this gun was actually originally called what was it called the colt the army model 250 this round was called the 255 40 what was yeah it was 45 uh 45, uh, 40, 255 would be military designation because you got the diameter, powder charge, and then the weight of the bullet. Yeah, so, but like I said, we had our bullets a little mixed up, so some of these are smokeless, some of them are the hot black powder rounds. That original plowboy load will match any uh, Sammy uh, standard pressure load that you could put out today, I think. Yeah, see, there was a smokeless. There was the plowboy load. <laughs> this plowboy loads hit hard. And flinch. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put this in the hands of a guy that knows how to use it. I'm gonna let Duke shoot it. All right, so I'm out here with my 73 single action. Uh, out here with 11 Bang Bang today, and I'm gonna see if I can do any good with it. That plate swung out of the way that time. <laughs> that time too. That time too. Them are all plowboys. My lord. That is a hard hitting round and the barrel's getting a little warm, boys. A lot of people think the black powder round is more anemic than the rounds they have today. I, I don't think that's more anemic in any way, shape, or form to you. Um, not in the recoil department. <laughs> <laughs> not in the boom department either. One thing you gotta watch on this one is for whatever reason my firing pin retainer pin is loose yeah so if it gets where it hangs up and doesn't fire it usually means it swung out and it's hitting the frame yeah because it'll lock up right about there it won't go down need to put some loctite on it all right guys so 
we're done here for today this is a really good shooting gun i i'm thankful duke let me come out here and shoot it uh for the uberti model p i don't have a model p actually with the seven and a half inch so i was glad to come do it and i see why the military like this barrel length it is a lot easier to hit with this even than a four and three quarter in my opinion and uh you know these guns are nothing to be sneezed at even with the original what we call the plow boy load because they are yeah they really hit hard down there down range anyway trust in god keep your powder dry thanks for watching bye